Rangers, Angel Grove is in danger. We need your help. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I've got another video for you guys. We are going to be talking about Bat in the Suns, the legend of the White Dragon. And this is really, 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 really exciting for those of us who are Rangers fans, who have grown up on the Power Rangers, um, who love Jason David Frank, the green, white, the red, the black ranger. Um, he's been a lot of different things, including Lord Draken in a recent series. Um, it's been really fun just following this guy, and he's great to meet at Comic-Cons, and he's at a lot of Comic-Cons. So I wanted to talk with you guys because this thing is really, really legit, and there's a Kickstarter going on right now that I wanted to go over with you guys. I wanted to show you guys why it would be awesome if we could help these guys out, um, and you can make that decision for yourself, obviously, at the end. And I'll put the link to the uh, Kickstarter in the description below so you guys can get there yourself through a link. This is the Kickstarter page that we're at right now. Um, it's at kickstarter.com and then you can find it by typing in the uh, Legend of the White Dragon. And it's pretty sweet. I mean, if you guys have seen the Superpower Beatdown videos, Legend of the White Dragon is a Kickstarter that is supposed to then fund a movie that's going to come out. And they actually quote it in this video, in this uh, preview that's right here on my screen. If you go to the website, this is where you can find the trailer for this, is at the Kickstarter. They say in the trailer that they want to make this a movie, but if they pass their budget, if they're able to get $500,000 as their target goal, which is not a lot for a, feature, for a feature film, then this is actually going to turn into something they can replicate over and over because that will, if they cross that line, it says way down here, their main goal is $500,000, and if they get over $500,000, they're going to upgrade to bigger sets, bigger action, bigger effects, even giant robot battles, uh, meaning Megazords and whatnot. And uh, the more they raise, the bigger the film. And so there's a lot of benefits to making this Kickstarter reach its goal, because if you're a fan, you're gonna like what you see here very much. If you guys have seen the Shattered Grid, it explores a splinter future where outside of the regular canon, the Green Ranger never left Rita Repulsa's side and joined the Rangers. It's what if he stayed evil? And it kind of creates two different factions among Rangers. And it's uh, absolute chaos. Now, this is in the kind of general principle storyline where it's in a splinter future, not the exact same one, but it's involving similar ideas and outcomes, po almost post-apocalyptic, where the Rangers are doing their darndest to keep the world spinning. It is in the future, so all the Rangers that we know and love are much older. They've had families. They've kind of retired and then had to come back in retirement. They've lost family members. It's quite tragic, but they keep the integrity that the original Power Rangers holds, which is no cussing, no sensuality, sexuality type stuff. Um, it's very much clean but with really, really, really good action and story. So they're upping the, the degree of action by a long shot by including the guy who's responsible for the Marvel Netflix series' fight sequences. Alvin Hsing, who choreographed for Marvel's Netflix shows, joined this project to make sure that the stunt choreography, among all of these people who have had a lifetime of stunt choreography skills, like all of the Power Rangers that are involved, I think there's five that we know of, and then also Aaron Schwenk, who makes the, the superpower beatdowns on Bat in the Sun, which are really high quality. Now you have Alvin Singh, who basically did the fight sequences in Marvel's Netflix. If you guys saw Daredevil's trilogy, if you saw um, Punisher's two seasons, if you've seen Iron Fist two seasons, Luke Cage uh, and the Defenders and Jessica Jones, some of the most epic fight sequences I've ever seen for like hand-to-hand -hand combat type stuff, um, being like Daredevil season one's hallway fight scene, the um, Luke Cage season one apartment fight scene. That one was pretty cool. It's not the most intricate, but it was really cool. And uh, Iron Fist season one, the tattoo parlor fight scene with Misty and Colleen uh, and the Crane versus the Crane sisters. Daredevil season two's um, stairwell fight scene in with the chain. That was really cool. Um, Punisher season one, at the end, Punisher versus Billy Russo on the carousel was absolutely vicious. Like they do a lot of these one take scenes that are like, four, six, ten minutes long, and it's literally one take without switching cameras. 
and switching angles and that kind of stuff. It's one take, but it's a fight sequence that's just – it's amazing and brutal and it's awesome. And they got that guy who coordinated all of these things including – and I'm not, I'm not even done. There's like – let me see. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven different really iconic fight scenes throughout the Marvel Netflix seasons that – just absolutely take your breath away. They're amazing. And this guy is responsible for it. He's trying to help make Power Rangers Legiticus Chapter 6. So it's going to be really, really cool. Now you have the the big names. Jason David Frank, who plays the original Green Ranger, and then the White Ranger, and then the Red Ranger, and then the Black Ranger. He plays a lot of different Rangers, and he's been in the most amount of episodes out of anybody on on Power Rangers ever. Um, also, Johnny Young Gosh, who was the original or he was the second Black Ranger in Mighty Morphin, and then he um, became the Green Ranger in, I believe it was Turbo, and I think he was around for Zero. And then um, Jason Fount, uh, who was the Time Force Red Ranger, one of the coolest Red Ranger outfits of all time. time. Uh, and Ciara Hanna, she was Gia Moran from the um, Super Mega Force series. And then... Uh, a few other names here um, that I, I'm not familiar with off the top of my head. I'll have to look up. But Yoshi Sidar, Sidarso and Christy Ann, they are also Power Rangers as well. And then Jenna Frank, who is Jason David Frank's daughter, will actually be playing Jason David Frank's daughter, or rather Tommy Oliver's daughter, in this Splinter future. So a lot of really cool stuff here. Um, I want to go ahead and just play this trailer for you guys. That way you guys can just get a tease of what's what's happening here. Can you guys see this? Dude, come on. Why are you hiding? Why won't you join the fight? <laughs> I lost everything! They've taken everything from me! You're not the only one who's lost something. Dude. <laughs> you heard the legends of the white dragon? We finally found something to help us restore balance. The white dragon, Krista. Your energy. Your blood is the key. Then why'd you attack? We had to make sure you weren't a clone. It's like the alternate future thing. I have nothing left to fight for. She's alive. Your daughter. She's alive. What your wife would have wanted. He has her at a citadel. If you're lying to me, you'll be the first one to come out of town. If I'm not, you will have found a reason to fight. Take it. That's my boy, Jason David Frank, right here, baby. Come on, get it. Come on. Hulk's Jim on his shirt. Hulk's Jim. There it is! There it is! Ooh, come on! So, 
So that was the trailer. And before the video is over, there's still like another minute left. And they're going to explain what's going on with this, this whole Kickstarter, all right? So that was the trailer. Let's get into the explanation of what they need from us, the fans. What's up, everybody? Jason David Frank, Johnny Young Bosch. We hope you enjoyed the teaser of The Legend of the White Dragon. Me and Johnny have wanted to work together for years. It's been about 17 years. It's been a long time. It's a great concept, great story, and we know characters you guys want to see. It's my first Kickstarter campaign, so I'm very, very excited, very passionate about it. Uh, we partnered up with the amazing producers, filmmakers of Bat and Sun, who created this super power beatdown. Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Shanti of Bat and Sun, and we are here to create a gritty, darker, more um, mature. Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Netflix. Without compromising the art or integrity. Do you guys know how much a Marvel Netflix show costs per episode? <laughs> Three million. Three million. Well, we're going to create a show that looks That's really important because when I first watched this video, um, he says, like, do you know how much a Marvel Netflix show costs? He's talking about Marvel, Marvel Netflix, Iron Fist, Daredevil, Punisher, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Defenders. He's talking about those with – those are some seriously epic productions. If you guys haven't seen those – I mean, Iron Fist season one was pretty weak. Season two was really awesome. Luke Cage, I wasn't the biggest fan, but there was some cool scenes in there. And Jessica Jones, I wasn't much of a fan, but again, some cool stuff. Um, the best by far, Daredevil, all the way through season one, two, and three. Punisher, seasons one and two, so awesome. And uh, Iron Fist season two is the next best season out of those. And then Defenders is really fun because you just get to see them all team up. They know the budget for what it costs to make a Marvel uh, Netflix series because this guy right here. Alvin Singh, who choreographed for Marvel's Netflix shows. They have a guy on the inside. Not only are these guys in the industry, but they actually have a guy that worked on the Marvel Netflix shows. He understands what the budget is. And so these guys aren't just guessing. They know. So that's a lot. Three, three million bucks per episode. Netflix is forking out cash for these shows. However, this one, the goal is only $500,000. So they're, they're doing it for a sixth of the budget of an episode, and they're planning to make this, which is theoretically going to be longer than a Marvel Netflix episode, and it's also going to be significantly cheaper, but with approximately the same, the same target quality. And it, from the trailer, it looks amazing. I want more. But let's keep going because they have a message that's really important, and there's a lot of benefits if you want to help out with this Kickstarter. Well, just imagine if we did get three million. Ooh. More crazy stunts, Sounds more explosions, good. more action, all kinds of stuff. Those are all listed on our stretch goals below. So definitely check them out. And 100% of what we raise for this film goes into making the film as epic as it can be. Right? And we got all the perks, right? We got a lot of perks. They're all exclusive, so they're not things that you're going to be able to go find at Comic Con. At, at Comic -Con. Yeah. Posters, 8x10, the 4K version, soundtrack, yeah. uh, script, signed, autographed, helmet, helmet. producer helmet. credit. Invite us to the premiere, premiere, to the set also. On the set visit. We tried to make sure that every one of them was exclusive and special for this Kickstarter. We do have the best fans in the whole entire world, and we know you guys are going to share this. We want to thank you, and we're so happy to be part of this fandom, and uh, we hope you enjoy the movie. Best fans in the world. No, and look, it just started. So the Kickstarter, I'm recording this on 7-13th, uh, so July 13th, 2019. It's been up for a couple of days. And they have 28 days left. They're already 11% funded. This is awesome. Like, I am really, really excited. Um, so I wanted to show you guys. Let's go down the list. And I want to show you the benefits of what it'll get you if you want to help make this video or this movie made. Okay? So let's let's scroll down, right? So um, if we take a look here, it says, uh, Bat in the Sun says, Hollywood could learn from Bat in the Sun. Uh, Time Magazine uh, quoted that. And then they said, Bat in the Sun is an independent self-contained film with music production. Like, uh, you have a lot of people online praising production companies like Bat in the Sun who were from the ground up made on YouTube. Um, it says here, uh, to support, make a pledge without a reward. So if you just want to, if you want to put in a pledge with no reward, uh, you can do that. You can just simply donate money right here on the Kickstarter page on the, on the right side underneath support. So there you can just enter in any dollar amount you wish. 
But they also uh, have here pledge $25 or more right here. Uh, reward number one includes the HD download of the film and a download of the music score. And approximately all of these will ship to, to you around August 2020. Um, and it ships anywhere in the world. So it'll allow you to ship anywhere. That's really, really cool. Also, um, pledge $50 or more. And for reward two, they have the original uh, two prizes that you got before, the download of the music score and the download the HD download of the film. But you also get a digital version of the script and a digital poster. So that's really, really cool. Again, these, are, these all are digital. So this involves no shipping approximately, but around August 2020, is when those things will be available to us. So that's that's what's gonna happen there. And then op option number three, pledge $100 or more, is uh, to get the exclusive eight by 10 photo signed by Jason David Frank. I'm assuming that's probably of the white dragon. Um, and then also digital high resolution uh, still photos and uh, digital poster as well as the digital version of the script, HD download of the film, and download of the music score. So you can see from the bottom, it's stacking, and it's adding more and more stuff as you pledge more and more. Um, same thing here, music score, HD download, digital version of the script, digital high-res still and photos, digital poster, and then an exclusive 8x10 photo signed by Jason David Frank, and special thanks in the credits. So if you want to be, if you want to be thanked in the credits of this movie, for your participation in getting this thing funded, you pledge 200 bucks or more and your name is in the credits. How cool is that? How cool would it be to just get your name in the credits of that movie? That is sick. That's a sick reward, dude. If you're a fan of Power Rangers, you can literally be a part of this, not just by making this movie happen, but you're gonna get your name in the credits. That's awesome. And then uh, pledge $500 or more and you get, uh, on top of everything we've seen before, uh, you get the signed 24 by 36 poster by Jason David Frank and the cast. That is super tight. You're gonna get, I think that's five Rangers that are gonna sign this thing. That's so cool. Um, and you're gonna get that, that big old poster. You can hang on your wall, on your roof, <laughs> over your bed if that's what you're into. Like all kinds of stuff. and. Uh, as well as the pledge 100 or uh, 1000 US dollars. So now we're talking big mondo bucks. So we just went from 500 bucks to this $1000. Let's see what it's going to get you. So on top of everything we listed before, you're also going to get invited to the premiere. You're going to get to go to the premiere with the stars. Probably meet all of the stars. That is so cool. That is really really awesome. And then they're not going to pay for the travel, but you will get invited to the premiere and a ticket. That is so cool. So a thousand bucks or more is going to get you all of that stuff and the premiere. Now let's take a look at what $2,500 or more is going to get you. It's going to get you all of that, all the downloads. It's going to get you the poster, the exclusive eight by tens, special thanks in the credits. And it's going to get you the, the premiere ticket and signed white dragon helmet by Jason David Frank. That's sick. That's so sick. And uh, that would be uh, this helmet here shown on the right that's one of the coolest power rangers helmets i've ever seen it almost has a master chief look from halo like that it looks awesome and i i can't wait to see this movie i really i really can't um so let's go down and keep looking so 25 000, that was 2500 bucks 2500 or you can pledge five thousand dollars or more and you can get all of that plus a personal uh a personal video message from the cast so there, the cast is going to make you specifically a video talking directly to you with your name and they're going to thank you and they're going to talk to you in a video message from the cast that you can probably have forever. That's amazing. That's so cool. And then also train with Jason David Frank, the green, then white, then red, then black ranger, who is also Lord Draken and then, you know, the, the white dragon in this movie. Uh, for th in a 30 minute session and a, uh, or it says 30 minute sessions and a week at Jason David Frank's karate school. That is so cool. So you get to train with him for a week with 30 minute sessions. 
at his karate school. That in te- I'm, I know that that to be in Texas is the last time I checked. I think that that studio is in Texas, and I'm really excited. If that was something I could do, if I had that kind of money, I would do it because I've always wanted to train with Jason David Frank. He was one of my initial inspirations to do martial arts in the first place. I love Jason David Frank, and he's a great guy. I'm, you, you meet him at a, at a Comic-Con or a, in a convention or something, and he's always super warm, super friendly. Um, he's always all about the fans. And that's also why they're making this movie for such a small budget is because the, the actors didn't demand a lot of money. They're probably getting almost next to nothing. So this is like how much they care about the fans. And then also pledge 10000 bucks. So if you are – this one is crazy, but it's also – one of the best things I can possibly imagine if you're trying to become a producer. Because let's take a look. So obviously da- from, down at the bottom, it's the download of the music score, HD download of the film, digital version of the script, digital high-res stills and photos, digital poster, exclusive 8x10 photos signed by Jason Frank, special thanks in the credits already, signed 24x36 poster by JDF and cast, invited to the premiere, personal video message from the cast. That's 10 things. And then you're going to get, this is the nuts thing right here. Like we've already talked about the helmet. That's number 11. Train with JDF uh, in Texas, I imagine. Um, That's number 12. Visit the set and photos with the cast, travel not included. That to me is going to be amazing. I I think that's just in LA. Um, I think that's where Bat in the Sun does all his work is in LA. So um, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's down there. This is what's interesting to me. So like partway down, I'm going to highlight it. Well, I can't highlight it because it's going to make me click it. But um, producer credit, that is unbelievable. If you're looking to become a producer on films, this will get you a producer credit. They're going to credit you as a producer on the film. That boggles my mind. That's one of the coolest things you could possibly do. Um, yeah. I would I would definitely – like if I had 10000 bucks laying around <laughs> like I didn't need it. Yeah, that'd be going directly here. Um, I would, I would certainly be doing that. That is such a cool thing. And uh, they mentioned in the video that if they pass their goal, they're going to, they're going to try to keep building uh, on the the sets they already have and allow it to be replicatable, so they can not only make this movie, but if they pass the goal of five hundred thousand dollars, they're going to just make bigger sets, bigger action, bigger effects. They're going to buy more space to shoot these things and then they'll be able to continue to replicate these things over and over and over because they already have the capital like the the actual sets built so to me it'd be way worth it to just go bananas and get this thing funded well beyond its goal that way we can get as many of these as possible obviously hasbro has been dragging their feet trying to get or in any direction as far as movies get going on with uh with power rangers they've got some cool stuff coming out there's some like i think it's the beast morphers or something like or no it's uh, i'm sorry there's a new one there's a new one a new power rangers that's out right now i haven't followed but um they've been dragging their feet as far as making movies and this bat in the sun is looking good so i can't wait for this and they've got the guy from the marvel netflix series is out here helping them stunt coordinate which is the coolest thing i can imagine so um all these things, rewards one through nine are available for you. So I myself am not a super wealthy man. I do all right, but I don't have a lot of extra money in my pocket at the end of the month because we got a family, kids and stuff. So you buy shoes, you buy clothes, food, all that stuff. So for me, I'm not going to be able to get myself one of the helmets. But what I can do is I can pledge the $50 and get my download of the music score HD download of the film, digital version of the script, and the digital poster. So those things, I would like to do that so that I can receive that. Now, um, before I go to the next part of this video, I wanted to show you. Uh, Let me refresh this page. And it looks like $54,000, Oh, it's growing up. It's going up. So uh, 54.7... thousand dollars have already been crowdfunded and um you know it's only been a couple days so i think they're gonna hit this goal 
if we if we continue to tell people our friends other power rangers fans kids in the 90s kids of the 80s of this stuff i think they'll i think they'll hit their goal and we're gonna start to actually get some really really legit um power rangers movies that are netflix quality but with the integrity of the classic power rangers so it'll still be like you can share it with your friends younger kids that are like 10 can watch this stuff it's going to be a little bit more gritty and dark but it's not going to be uh it's not there's not going to be like cussing and all that stuff i imagine because jason david frank doesn't sign off on that for his for his power rangers so i'm really excited i can't wait now let me read this for you lastly what is the legend of the white dragon in the aftermath the city was left decimated a past reminder of a great battle and fall of heroes as a result of the death and destruction, the city became known as Angel Graves. It used to be called Angel Grove. Uh, the heroes were blamed, stripped of their titles, and hunted. But as evil once threatened uh, threatens to return, they must rise from the ashes with the power of the White Dragon. Why crowdfunding? So why are they doing this instead of just getting producers? It says... It is important that we deliver what the fans want and deserve, and Kickstarter allows us to do just that. This way, we remain in 100% control of this project, giving us the freedom to create a compelling story, intense action sequences, and spectacular visual effects without any studio telling us no. And we can't wait to deliver an awesome film experience. And then it shows you some of the images that you're going to be able to um, probably get from if you if you donate and you get like some of these like exclusive eight by tens or the fo stills and photos that kind of stuff um so that's really cool and it says the rebellion lives the legend returns heroes reborn honor the fallen keep hope alive Pro and then it says uh purpose restored that's really cool it looks awesome and it says meet our amazing team we've assembled um the cast jason david frank johnny young bosch jason fount Ciara Hanna, Yoshi Sudarso, uh, Christy Ann, and Jenna, and Jenna Frank. So it's looking really good so far. The crew, uh, the amazing team behind Superpower Beatdown, which is Bat in the Sun, directors Aaron Schwenk and Sean Schwenk, along with the fight choreographer Alvin Singh, who has choreographed for Marvel's Netflix shows. That, to me, shows how much they care about making a quality product for the fans. Then it says, check out the characters and designs for Legend of the White Dragon. This, These one-of-a-kind posters are available in our rewards. And then it goes down the line and shows you the different reward packages that you can do. And it says this, our main goal is 500,000. This will allow us to produce an amazing film, but if we are able to raise more, it would give us the ability to expand our story, build out set locations, deliver an even greater action sequences and have bigger effects. A lot goes into making a great film. So the more money we can raise, the more exhilarating we can make the project. Thank you so much for your support. And then it goes down and talks about this. So if they, if they are able to make their goal, they make the movie. If they beat their goal by enough, it's all going into more production for this type of film, for this series, for this story to continue. I am super excited. Um, and so it looks like if you want to be the first person to drop 10,000 bucks, you'll be the first because so far there's no backers. You can see down here at the very bottom, it says zero backers. And then here for 5,000, zero backers. But look, for the 2,500, someone got invited to the premiere and got a signed helmet by JDF. They, there's one backer here for 2,500 or more. And then for the pledge of 1,000, you got four backers. Four people invited to the premiere, so that's five I can see so far. Now, for uh, this, for number uh, five, 14 backers pledged 500 or more. For four, 54 backers pledged 200 or more. That's awesome. And then for uh, pledge 100 or more, that's 122 backers. And then for 50 or more, that's 103, but I'm going to make it 104. So... $50 is what I'm going to do. United States, continue. And I'm going to go ahead and pledge it. Yeah, there we go. And I just pledged my $50 to support the cause. 
So I am really, really excited. I'm really happy. And I'm going to share this on Twitter, Facebook, and I'll copy it and send it to Instagram. I'm going to make this thing blow up if it, if it runs me into the ground on social media. I have to have this movie. I'm a huge fan of the Power Rangers. But more than that, I'm a huge fan of the cast and crew at Bat in the Sun. I'm a huge fan of Jason David Frank specifically. Uh, the Green Ranger is my jam. I've got his Funko Pop over there and my big gigantic Funko Pop wall. I love the Power Rangers. i got a bunch of Power Rangers actually over there. But um, guys, if you really love the Power Rangers, if you want to see more of this going down, please consider making your contribution like I just did right now. And you guys can be a part of making this film. You'll get your your if you pledge enough, you'll get your name in the credits. You could be a producer on the film. Get your helmet. Get your signed posters. Get your everyone's gonna get a digital download and the music score. I'm so pumped. I can't wait. And I really, really hope this thing beats its goal so they can keep making more. Cause I don't know that we're gonna get a movie anytime soon from Hasbro. They've been dragging their feet, and I don't want to wait. So you guys. Make it happen. Do your part like I just did. And I can't wait to hear from you guys. I want to be excited with you. I want to share this excitement so we can talk about this project, this movie. Um, you know, like and follow Bat in the Sun. Like and follow JDFFFN on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff so that you can be a part of this journey with them and support these guys. Johnny Bosch, um, Jason Fount, um, Ciara Hanna, all those people. So, Let's just do it, guys. If you guys want to have some fun? I would recommend maybe pledge twenty-five bucks. If you don't, if you can't do twenty-five bucks, pledge two bucks, pledge a dollar, pledge five bucks, because it gave you that custom option as well. But if you want all those the digital downloads and that kind of thing with the rewards, definitely, definitely do like twenty-five bucks or or fifty bucks if you can. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited about this? Are you excited about the project? Do you want to see Jason David Frank be? The White Dragon. Do you want to see Johnny Bosch and all the all the crew? Do you want to see the Mega Force Rangers and the Time Force Rangers and everybody coming back together so we can celebrate these guys? I certainly do. Let's talk about it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And please, turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a single thing. Anyways, thanks guys. Let's hit that goal. And I'll see you guys next time right here on The Stuff of legend link in the description below anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys get a chance to at least take a look at the kickstarter watch the trailer for yourself and make sure that you consider and tell all of your power rangers fans if you want this thing to get made if you want this thing to get made make sure you share this with all of your friends because i want them to know that this thing is getting going and if you guys want the link is in the description below so you can make that pledge okay link in the description below click that link so you can watch the trailer on the on the page for the kickstarter and then you can consider making your donation of any size does not have to be 25 bucks does not have to be a thousand bucks you could do a dollar two dollars four hundred dollars seven hundred dollars seventeen hundred dollars seventeen thousand dollars you could make this whole thing happen yourself and get a producer credit that would be super cool I want this thing made. Do you want this thing made? Let me know in the comments down below if you want something a little more Netflixy, grittier, a little bit more adult, but with the integrity of the originals. Let me know what you guys think down below. Anyways, thanks guys. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Also be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and please turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys can be a part of the stuff of legend. Anyways, thanks guys. You stay tuned for more right here on the stuff of legend. It's morphin' time. We need your help. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.